The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Just like the problems in the last section, this trinomial has an x squared term, an x term, and a constant term. So it can be factored as the product of two binomials. We set up our two sets of parentheses. x squared breaks down into x times x. And what we're looking for are factors of negative 15 that add to positive 2. The difference between this problem and the ones in the last section is that your constant term is negative. A negative number factors into the product of a positive and negative. So this negative 15 can be thought of as positive 15 times negative 1 or negative 15 times positive 1, positive 5 times negative 3, or negative 5 times positive 3. So which pair of factors adds to positive 2? Positive 5 and negative 3. So we use those numbers in our two binomials, which gives us an answer of x plus 5, x minus 3.